JavaScript, like any other language, has ways of asking information to the user. In uh, Python, it's input. Read line in Java, in um, Java, but in in JavaScript, it's prompt. So basically, how it works is that when you say prompt in your code, it will prompt something like this with the question to the user, and the user will be able to answer. Here's the the question. You specify the question here, and then you prompt. So if I console log that, if I console log age. Even if I don't type an H, the computer doesn't know what an H is. It's A G E for it. It's not really an H. So if I, I I type here dog, and I run it, it will show up dog here. Because it doesn't have to be an H. H is just a variable for the computer. So here they are telling us that if I really wanna uh, another thing that I wanna mention is that it's a string always because a user only type strings. Even if I type one and two, for example, if I type, let me show you here. If I type of, so I, I want to learn what's the data type of age inside, like what's the type of value inside age. So if I type 10, it will tell me that it's still a string. You see, it's not an integer. If I want to make it an integer, I have to say parse, parse int. And it's not going to be an integer, it's going to be a number, not an integer. Remember, JavaScript only has only has um, numbers, not integers, as data type, like other languages. So if I type 10 or whatever, it's 56 here, it will show number now. So it's now a number because I parse it. So talking about that, now that it's parsed, I can add 10 to it. Let me show you. If I have 30 and now I added 10, it's going to print 40. And that's cool. This is the solution. Let's try it on. So it's a success. But I wanted to show what happens if I don't parse it. If I don't parse it and it's still a string, JavaScript will think that I'm trying to concatenate two strings. So if I print 40 plus 10, it will print 4010 instead of 50. So 4010, because it's the concatenation of both strings. But that's it.